Good morning, YouTube. Say good morning, Gray Gray. Good morning. All right, here's a little project we got going on today. We picked up a uh, new canoe, or I mean, a used canoe, okay? So a second, secondhand canoe, uh, if you will. I think I touched on it briefly at the end of one of our, our other videos. Picked it up for 125 bucks. It's quite a good deal. Uh, you can see it here in the background. And you can also notice it's got a little bit of oil cannon on it. So let me show you what we're gonna do and give you a better look at that oil can too. All right, guys, you can see the oil can, it's oil can all on it. Now, it's not really gonna affect it any way other than aesthetic reasons for me. And you'll see what I got here for my tools. I got some pullers that I got from Harbor Freight. I got a bigger one, I got a smaller one. I'm seven buck, oops, sorry. I'm seven buck total into this. Five for the big guy, two for the little one. And then your old average everyday Harbor Freight heat gun. So Come on. what I'm gonna do is get all this dirt cleaned off of here. I'm gonna wipe it down good, set the camera up and show you guys Wait, how to get the oil cannon out of here. Because if you see the reason why I'm doing this, This particular canoe has a subfloor in it. So I can't push from this side to get it out. Therefore, I have to suction the bottom and pull it out. Now, let me get everything set up and we'll be back at it. Let me give you a look at what we've got so far and explain explain things so go ahead and clear this water all right so the water is obviously for cooling this off and filling it in that bucket right there as a weight. All right, so let's see what we got here. First thing you wanna notice is this rib that runs through it. You go back and look at how high this was. So we've leveled this off on this side. Through there, still got a little hump right there. You can see that hump there. We're gonna take that down a little bit. But the bad oil canning that was right here, I mean, so I can get out of this glare here. That just might have made it worse. You can see the two sides, the difference here already that we're making just by pushing and pulling. We're heating up, pushing and pulling. And total elapsed time, I would say I've been at this for about 30 minutes. Okay, so we're going slow on this. We're definitely going slow. All right. Let's see how big this bubble is right here as opposed to the other side now you can really you can really get a, b a better look at it from this angle or from this side of it see i haven't i haven't touched this side yet and how much we've already straightened it out I haven't touched up here you can see it's, it's bulged out up here so i'm going to go ahead and move this into the shade of the house right here 
where I can work in a little bit more comfort and we'll get back to it and see some more results. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit up close here. Get some real time footage of how I'm doing this and talk you through it a little bit. So you see the bend, or really the bend starts right here and right here. So that's where the area we're gonna work from, here to here. Now I'm not gonna worry about this side just yet. I'm gonna focus on one side and then go down to the other. You want to do this evenly, and you want to do it slowly, okay? Evenly and slowly. You want everything to heat up nice and even. And I'm also, I'm going to heat up a little bit past it too, because you can see I got this big wave right here, big bulge. We're gonna get that out too. We're gonna go ahead and get a get the keel rib straightened out, and we're gonna straighten this out too. All right, so you're gonna work from end of the bulge to end of the bulge, and back out here a little ways, and we're gonna do it slowly and evenly. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera back up. We'll time lapse this, and then look at it whenever it's done. do is I'm gonna get another bucket for weight when I start working on this side because I'm gonna leave that on the opposite side of this rib every time I reheat it to fix the opposite side of the canoe all right now you can already tell I mean majorly tell just how much we brought it down with the little bit of work that we've done uh, my ultimate goal here is not to get this thing super super straight I just don't want it to look butt ugly like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off, finish this side, and then we're gonna come back whenever I'm just about done with it. All right, guys. This is the last really big hump that I've gotta get out of here. I just wanted to show it to you real quick. You can just compare the two sides already that we've got going here, so. This is nice and heated up. Like I said, I just wanted to show you just how much of a difference it is already what I've done on that side over there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and shut this off. And then I got this other bucket full of water here. there and put that pressure on there All right everybody we are back at you with a finished product so just go ahead and take a look from here look at the whole length of it now you saw what it looked like before and really man look at that rib running right down the middle of it, that keel remember how that thing was just completely wavy and bowed out so I got that straightened out very nice. Uh, and you can see, and like I, like I said earlier in the video, I wasn't going for a complete smooth bottom here because I'm just not really that concerned on it. I just wanted to straighten it out a little bit. And if I wanted to, I could come in here in these little high, low areas right here and I could straighten it all out. But what I've done, I've just gone through here and got out the, the really big parts and uh, give you a walk through on the whole thing here. It is it is straightened out considerably. 
from where it was. And you can see I moved locations. I was over there and then the sun, the sun encompassed me. So I had to chase the shade, but here we have it. Oil can removal reduction. I just did a reduction on here. Didn't, didn't go for a complete removal. And I showed you my tools earlier, the heat gun and these two little Harbor Freight pullers. And then I went ahead and I used uh, two buckets, filled them up halfway full of water. And then my, my garden hose here to keep things cool whenever I had them set where I wanted, where I wanted to set them. So I may take my buffer and clean up some of these scratches and polish it up a little bit here in another video. And then also, which is gonna be another video, uh, there's a little pinhole in here somewhere. The guy I bought it from, it looks like he put shoe goo on it. I don't believe this is silicone. I'm pretty sure this is shoe goo. Um, he said his little boy hit it with a board that had a nail in it and put a little pinhole in it. And I think it's right here. You can't really tell especially on the camera, because I really can't tell looking at it, but I think that's where the hole's gonna be. But I'm gonna remove this shoe goo just because I don't like it. And I'm gonna put a patch on here and show y'all how to do that in another video. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get this put back up underneath the house and call this video done. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for what we've got next.